Hey guys and welcome to my first let's play. I'm Wolf Dogs 593 and this is Abe's Odyssey. Um, this is a game that's been pretty much the whole basics of my, basis of my childhood. I grew up with this game and the sequel to it, which I will probably probably be playing as well. Uh, it's just just gonna do a quick uh, playthrough of it. I'm gonna try to get 100% with the saves. Anyone who's played the game will know what I'm talking about, and I'll explain it again as we go through it. Um, as I said, I'll try to go through and get 100%. I haven't. I think I've got 100% in the past, but it was quite a few years ago, and I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm quite excited to play it. I'm playing the Steam version of it, so I, weigh, I will be a bit um, sluggish with the controls because I'm used to console gaming, but because of the Let's Playing, I will try. I will be using my computer for it all, so we'll just have to get used to it and just have a go with it. So without any further ado, let's get stuck in. Follow me. This is Rupture Farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave. Like all the others. Me. My name is Abe. I was employee of the year. Now I'm dead meat. I crossed the meanest boss in the world. Mullock the Gluckin. My whole life changed in just one day. I was working late one night at Rupture Farms. We used to make meat munchies. Until the meaches were through. We still made paramite pies. And we made some good scrap cakes too. I thought I had a good job, but that was before I knew. How we'd make new and tasty, I was still to find. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. The Gluckins were scared. Because profits were grim. Heramites and scrabs had been turning up thin. But Mullock was cool. He had a plan. This new kind of meat? It was us! <laughs> I just had to escape. I just had to be free, and I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here! Okay. There 
we go. It's a nice little opening cutscene for us. Um, so, a few things about this game. Um, it's kind of like a, I want to say slapstick type humor, but I'm not sure whether that's the right term or not. Um, it, it is quite, a, it's quite funny. It's got quite a lot of humor in it. And it's, it's kind of like a, it's a very dark, if you look, if you look through the backstory, it's quite a dark sort of story behind it, but they do make it, they do lighten it up with the humor. All the text, as you may have noticed there, all the dialogue is, um, sort of rhyme-ish. So most of it rhymes with itself, I don't know why they put that in or what for, but that's just the way it is. Uh, one of the main things about this game is, well it's a 2D screen, uh, screen scroller, or side scroller even, but there's a lot of secrets in this, and I, I sort of said earlier on, in each sort of level has so many what we call Mudokens, and that's what that's what Abe is, and what you have to do is you have to save as many as you can. There's 99 throughout the whole game, but most of them are hidden. So you just have to keep your eye out for things that may look like secrets. For example, the first one right in the first screen is here. If you press down behind this barrel, you will drop down. And that noise means that you find a secret. So, turn them off for now. Those grinders uh, obviously will kill you if you step in them, so I'll just be careful of that. Just most of this game is timing. Oh, no, wrong one. Uh, those the wee grinders there are the other Madokas that you have to save. They're not quite as bright. They will just you can say hi, you can say follow me, and you can say wait. Basically, that's the extent of your interaction with them. No matter what, if you say follow me, they will follow you until either they reach a ledge or they die, basically. Or until you say stop. So you have to be very careful with how you approach them and how you sort of control them. And I'll, I'll show you in a wee second. The, wee, the secrets here actually, they are very tough because I think the way they made it was you're supposed to play through the game, find out that there are secret areas and then replay the game. So that you, and then by the time you've done that, you will have encountered crushers before. You will have learned to control them, the Madokans throughout the levels, and it'll just be a lot easier for you that way. But because I've played it before, I already know, so I'll try and get it all in this first go. And um, as I said, we'll just see how it goes. So it's quite simple. You can say, as I said, you can say hi and follow me, and then that's your basics of your controls for leading the Madokans to safety and as it is a lot about timing I'm trying to mm -hmm. work it all out mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get these guys through okay. the trick with the crushers the slow moving crushers if you say follow me as it's coming down by the time the register comes in and the Madokan decides to follow you they will have walked through safely mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Follow me. okay follow me okay wait okay you can only control one Madokan at a time, so if you've got multiple on the screen, you have to get move one before you get the other. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. What I find easy is if you get them right up to the crusher, like he is, one step aside, and then control them from there, it's a lot easier for me, and it's just, okay. well, safer. Okay, wait. Okay. That right there is a slig, I actually forgot about him there, that's why I panicked a bit. Um, they are your basic guard type thing, and so you can chant to possess them, like I'm doing here. And then you get full control. This thing's pretty basic. You've got your assault rifle, you can hit. You'll never need to do that. And then there's a bit later on where you will encounter them. You'll have to use them to interact with other creatures, but I'll explain that again as we get to it. So if you chant the game while you're possessing a slig, you will do that and you'll destroy them. <laughs> so that's how you get around that wee bit. Just be careful when you drop down, be ready to run off to the side. And 
that 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 one the thing at the bottom there is a bird portal. That's what you use to free your Murdoch and friends. And to do that you have to get them on the same level as Wait. As the bird okay. portal and then quick way to get him to work again is that. If you have a Madokan standing up and you try to talk to another one, it won't work. The first one will it still is. think you're trying to talk to him. Oh crap. And it goes by proximity. If you whoever you're closest to will be the one that you interact with. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. There you go. Get them all on the same level, then champ again. And you will free all of them. And first secret completed. Then ignore him. Doors are quite handy, they basically teleport you about the environment. There's two uh, levels to each screen and you've got your foreground and your background. Any slugs in the slug, if the slugs in the background, it can shoot f forward. If he's in the foreground, he cannot shoot backwards. So that's just something to keep in mind whenever you're encountering them. And I did that wrong. Oh crap! I suppose if they shoot, if they see you, they will shout freeze like he did. And some of them give you a bigger window than others. Some of them give you a couple of seconds to run off. Some of them just shoot instantly. Others don't even say freeze. They just shoot on sight. So you be careful with them, you can't fight them, you can either chant and possess them or just hide or run away from them. Anything other than that will get you killed. So it's just your basic jumping and then your run jump. Those down there are mines, if you hit them you it's instant death. Anything in any um, dangers in this game is pretty much instant death. Jock will take over him, pull this lever, and what that does is it shuts off that electric over here so that we can get free. Uh, most slugs will recognize a possessed slug when they see one. Well, like, I think it's just due to the fact that it's in the wrong place where it shouldn't. It is where it shouldn't be, type thing. So. If you are a slick and you see another slick, best thing just to kill it as soon as you can before it kills you. So this guy, that's all we need this guy for, just to take out that other one. If you kill that first slick before you get the second one, you can get the second one to chase you back through to the uh, through to this next screen, and then once you're in the next screen, just jump up here and possess the slick as normal. And through here. We have our next secret area. So what I just picked up there now is a grenade. The number that uh, floated above the head as I picked it up is um, the, the amount that you picked up. So I just seen there I grabbed one grenade. And what you do here is you have to destroy the little floating robot because it's it stops you chanting basically. It can detect, detect you chanting and it will zap you. If it zaps you while you're holding a grenade, the grenade will drop and will be primed. And basically if you don't get out of there in time, you will get blown up. So the first thing you do is you blow that up. And then you take over these. And you'll see here as I possess one, the other one immediately kills it. And then it's not okay, just take, this one, take over this guy. Now this bit you have to be careful with, and this is actually got me stumped as a child quite often. Once you drop down here, you have to turn and immediately shoot. When I was younger, for some reason, that was I found that hard. So every time I got down there, you know, that other slug would turn and would kill me first. If that happens, you can correct it by just a combination of throwing a grenade down and then jumping and uh, stepping down as it blows up because if a grenade blows up without like off screen it doesn't actually do anything like it doesn't no damage is done to any enemies or anything so you have to have the grenade thrown and you have to be on that screen as it blows up for you or for the kill to count so we'll take out that so that we can chant 
the screen come back for the birds to reappear, and then free these two. So the first five there that you can free aren't actually, you would actually miss them. Uh, uh, she didn't know about the secrets. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. So bring him into this screen for a second. Wait. Okay. Just keep him there. Don't pull that lever. That lever will operate the wee platform that you, the, the wee purple striped platform. Cause, and that will open up and the wee dude will fall down the chapel. So don't do that. It's not good. We want to do, you want to do what I just done there, just throw the mine, uh, throw a bomb down uh, into the mines, it will clear the path, and there is yet another secret here. Um, I, meant, I forgot to mention there, grenades can be used, and there's different ways to throw them depending which direction button you press. If you press forward, uh, the direction you're facing, it will, also, it will throw it the furthest, and then if you throw it up, it will throw it a little higher but shorter. Down will just bounce the, the grenade downwards, and it's more for shorter bounces um, or like ones that you're trying to get down a wee hole. And then the last one is if you throw it away from the direction that you're facing, he pretty much throws it straight up. And I will show you a use for that later yeah. on. This one doesn't have it. This secret doesn't have any enemies, but they have crushers. So again, it's a timed event. And I almost got killed. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Oh, it might be too slow. No, it's okay. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Hello. 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 Come on, you. Follow there you me. go. Okay. Wait. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay, wait. It's always good to say wait as they're falling. Okay. So that, um, otherwise they will keep following you. And in some places that's bad because when they land, they are like right beside a hole or a mine or some sort of danger. That if they do keep following you, they will eventually die. So, hello. Just have hello, to be aware hello, of that. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay, wait. Okay. For those ones you have to say, if you say follow me, they will walk to the edge and they will stop. You have to say follow me then again for them to step off. If they're on the edge like you've seen there, you still have to say follow me twice, just because, I don't know, the game likes to be complicated. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. So you roll through here, pull this again. And once again, you've got another hello, follow me. Okay, wait. timed event. Okay, follow me. Okay, wait. Okay. I will probably be quiet through a lot of the puzzles and stuff, just so that I don't want to get any of them killed. Because if they do die, hello, hello, I will then have to okay. kill myself and then go back to the wait. last checkpoint. Okay. And sometimes that can be really annoying to try and work out. Follow so. me. Okay, wait. Okay. Follow me. Okay. There you go, as I said there, yeah. Um, I will be quiet just so that I can keep my concentration and I don't make any stupid mistakes and they get me or anyone else killed just because I don't want to have to redo the same section over and over again. If you run and then jump like that, it will, it help, that will become useful quite often throughout uh, the game. As there's quite a few stages where you can't just stand and jump upwards, you have to run and jump to avoid enemies or mines or anything else. And then, next secret in this area is here. Uh, pull this and run. And, the and this is where we see a use for the uh, backwards throw. Um, right. What? What? I don't know. What? Okay, never mind, sorry with that. Um kinda just threw that through the wall there, but okay. Um, what? What? Uh, what? This may take a few attempts just to try and work out the best way what? to do this. 
Most time it does take you to uh, try a few different combinations of, or a few different ways to throw it to find out which is best for the situation. Another thing you might have noticed, as you go to throw the bomb, you have a counter to be beaten. Once it once it hits the sixth beat, it will explode. So be careful if you're trying to like judge a throw, um, not to hold it on for too long. This is one of those um, a few times you have to time your uh, throw. And this is one of those ones, so I'll show you here. If you throw it, if you hold down the throw button and prepare to press the right hand side, so that it's away from the way you're facing, then you have once you hit the once you hear the fifth beep, then you throw. I'll show you here. There you go. So you have to. Sometimes you do have to time your throw so that on the sixth beep, it's where your target is. Believe me, that can get very annoying later on. It's just a simple. Oh crap, wrong button. It's just simple, just through the mine, or through the bomb at the mine, and then just wait. Something you have to be very careful of um, when a grenade hits a mine, it will not detonate. It'll blow up the mine, but the grenade itself will still be um, active. So don't go running forward and trying to just carry on until the grenade's exploded. That's caused me to backtrack quite often on radio areas. So we're coming up to the end of the hey, section here, so hey, go, follow me. Okay. I am going to bring these guys away. Wait. Okay. It can become quite tedious at times whenever you've got multiple enemies hey, to go. shepherd through. Hey, go, follow me. Okay. But for the most part, it's not so bad. If you run and press X, um, it will do a roll again. That will come become vital later on. Bring them through and hit the bar. And there we go. That, um, I meant to mention earlier, that wee diamond thing that you see floating up, that means that you've just hit a checkpoint. And so, you're anytime, if you save the game, you will go back to the last checkpoint when you reload it. And also if you die, you go back to the last checkpoint as well. And since we have hit that checkpoint, it's going to be a while before I get another one, so I'm going to save the game here. I will say... No, oh, okay, I can't have a little thing, never mind. Let's go Let's Play 1. And as that, I will end the video, and just please um, comment and just say what you think of it so far. Hope you've liked it, hope you've, well... It's not much to enjoy at first because it's just getting used to the controls and stuff. But just let me know how you think of, well, this in general, me, my commentary, the game, anything. And then I will see you next time.